have a good person, good people around him to, to hey, Ryan, let's go, let's take it easy, slow down, and then, and then we see. What's your motivation? You're on weight. You're one of the best fighters in history, but you're very successful. You don't have to work out. You could retire today if you wanted to. I love boxing. Aww. I love boxing, and I love being, being fighting. So that's why I'm here. Does Ryan beat Devin, in your opinion, Canelo, if he's okay? Like he's 100% yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Very respectful press conference. How important is that for you, for an opponent to be respectful, for you to give them a fight? I think it's, it's very important. I don't, I don't, I always respect more the fight and be respectful because, you know, it's when you realize it's going to be a good fight because the fighters who talk a lot of things, they come into the fight, they, they're scared. So, I like this kind of fight because I, I, I know it's going to be a great fight. Tell me if uh, it was a wrong observation or right. Did it feel weird to be on stage with Oscar? Did you feel annoyed or angry that he was there on stage? I, I don't like I don't like that kind of person, to yeah. be honest. That's it. But I, I feel comfortable because it's in my, it's my land, not his land. So yeah. uh, at the end of the day, I feel comfortable with myself, with everything I, 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 I did. Because everything you see, uh, we we made that. We made that, nobody else. Yeah, together. Uh, yeah, together. Bertrand, BBC, and Canelo Tino. That's it. So what's going on for you on the future? Are you going to be a free agent? Like what happened with you splitting from PPC and then coming back? I'm very happy to work with everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I am happy to work with Oheimon and he is happy to work with me and, and something happened or something there, there is for me more important. I'm, I'm going to do it and I'm going to be uh, good with Hyman with everybody. I, I, I like to work with everybody and, and they know I, I'm very disciplined, I'm very hard worker. And, that's why I can do anything. Is this true? Let me know if this is true or if people are wrong. Is it true you offered five million for a Benavides fight and then you guys didn't hear back? No. No. Nothing is true. I don't I don't I don't know how that came. Yeah. yeah. And I think the dad said, Oh, they offered us five million and No never. 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 Mm. Okay. Not that I know. And yeah. I know everything. <laughs> Okay. Over here. Okay. To, 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 piggy, to piggyback off the, the offer, uh, were you ever offered anything from Benavidez's camp? And, uh, Happy. And who is he for offering me the money? Right. Who, 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 who is he? It was said that it was 55. Yeah, but who is he to offer me? And if he offered that amount, he say that 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 amount I can I can I can make with anybody. Hmm. That's nothing. You don't think that's the, the one of the biggest fights that can be made? I, I don't I don't maybe who knows. But uh, you know he, he brings he brings nothing to the table for me. It's just he brings just twenty five pounds more in the night. The the fight on the on the night. That's it. But if he if if some promoter not him because he's nothing to offer me. Anything. He's nothing to offer me. Money, you know, I'm the one, I'm the one. So, but if one promoter who I work to, they come and say, I offer to, I offer to you 150, 200 million. I fight tomorrow. That's the only, that's the only reason I fight with him because the uh, the, the 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 only thing he brings to the table is 25 more pounds. Canelo, I think this is a great fight that I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy, but is there any pressure to make the fight with speaking about Benavides because you got people no like pressure. Mike Tyson and, and no even pressure. Ryan Garcia, they said if, if he, if Ryan Garcia said if he was you, he would already fight Benavides. Mike Tyson said you need to fight him. Is there any pressure? I don't need to, to fight people? anybody. I don't, need, I, don't need, I don't need to prove anybody anything because I I, I remember when uh, when this happened with Golovkin and then I happened with this. So I don't, I don't need to prove anything with anybody. So this fight with Jaime Mugia, you need to respect him because this fight is more important than other fights. So it is what it is. And you remember when you guys asking me for Golovkin and I fight with Golovkin and, and, and then Callum Smith and then Billy Joe Sonder and then Caleb Plant and then... So never is enough for you guys. But I, 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 I don't need to prove anything to anybody anymore. I've been done uh, 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 everything in, in my career. Do you respect the president like, like Mike Tyson said? Do you respect his opinion? Or how do you feel about like Mike Tyson? I, I respect his opinion if he, if he is sober. Mm. 
Camilo en español. Y no, que eso es un de respeto. Este, ¿Qué puedes decir? Creo que eh, ser respetuoso es, es, quiere decir cuando vas a hacer una gran pelea, porque hay peleadores que hablan mucho y a la hora de subirse a la pelea no hacen nada. Entonces, y he estado en este tipo de peleas donde los dos peleadores son respetuosos y a la hora de la pelea entregan todo arriba del cuadrilátero. La mentalidad de Munguía es, es una mentalidad ganadora, que se va a subir a ganar y eso es cuando esas dos mentalidades se encuentran. Que él sube a ganar, yo subo a ganar es cuando se hacen buenas peleas. Saludos a Tijuana. Sí, saludos a Tijuana. Canelo, ¿o que se disculpen de ti los que te han faltado el respeto? No, no, tampoco. Pelea? No, no, eh, para hacer una pelea? Tampoco necesito que se disculpen. Cada quien puede hacer lo que quiera y al final de cuentas yo también puedo hacer lo que yo quiera. Así es. Aquí tengo mucho respeto contra Javier Muñoz, ¿por qué es la razón? Este, permíteme que... Ahí voy. ¿Cómo te sientes volver a ver con un peleador mexicano? Pues obviamente se siente un poquito extraño, ¿no? Porque represento a México y el estar con un peleador mexicano, pues obviamente se siente un poquito extraño. Pero al final de cuentas es historia para México y me siento muy contento de poder ser yo el que traiga esta pelea para México. Muchas gracias. Pues mira, la verdad es que a mí me gusta, me gusta apoyar mucho a los mexicanos, ya sean cantantes, sean deportistas, respeto mucho lo que ha hecho Jaime Murguía y, y me siento muy contento de poder estar en un fin de semana del 5 de mayo, dos mexicanos que van a acaparar el mundo, los ojos del mundo a nivel, a nivel mundial, eh, peleando los cuatro títulos, la verdad que me siento muy contento y cuando dos personas se respetan así, en el cuadrilátero es cuando son buenas peleas, así que me siento, me siento contento de poder estar involucrado en esta pelea. Sí, yo creo que voy a trabajar en todos lados, he estado involucrado en este tipo de peleas durante mucho tiempo, sé lo que tengo que hacer y el, el 4 de mayo lo voy a hacer. Hi Canelo, so nice to meet you. How would you rate Munguia's power against past opponents and what made you choose him as your next opponent? No, he's, he has a lot of power. No. He throws a lot of punches. And he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. I think we, we're going to see after May 4th. And you're on your 65th fight. Congratulations. We all have loved watching you. What are your short-term and long-term goals in boxing? I also saw that you just became executive producer for the long game. Congrats on that, too. Can Thank we you. see more production work from you? Yeah, why not? Why not? I try to, to do everything in business, so why not? And, and my, my short-term is, uh, is, is this fight, and then we'll see. Pues la pelea de Charlo ya estaba, ya estaba en la mesa desde durante mucho tiempo. Crawford nunca ha estado en las opciones, pero obviamente eh, con la pelea que hizo su hermano en septiembre pasado no era muy atractiva para la gente. Entonces creo que esta pelea es, es la más atractiva para la opción en este momento.